Howdy. It's Friday afternoon and we're sitting in the showroom in a new Subaru Crosstrek. Here it is. It's a 2018 Subaru Crosstrek Limited, which means it has leather interior. But this one does not have eyesight or navigation. Howdy again. And we've had quite a few questions on how you set the clock. So let's take a look. Welcome to the interior view of a 2018 Subaru Crosstrek Limited with no navigation or eyesight. There may be some differences on the different models and options, but this one here has been a bone of contention for people. So before we jump into setting the time, I wanna show you something. There are two different ways to change the screens. This one here in the center of the dash, you're gonna use this button here called the info button. And every time I push this button, it changes what you see up here. When you get to the last button, it says pull and hold info button for selection screen. Now that's where you go in to change the time. I've got a little picture of the info button right there. Well, there's a similar button we've had for a longer period of time on Subarus that works the same way right here. And these buttons are at about, oh, seven or eight o'clock on the steering wheel. They're gonna change what you see here in the center. So see, I'm clicking down, 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 and it gives me down, down, down. And then if I click up, it goes the opposite direction. This here says pull and hold I set button for menu. That's where you're gonna make changes to that screen. So you would be pulling and holding this button and it goes into the menu for screen settings or you can change warning volume or you can change vehicle settings or default settings and then you click go back see how i chose the menu screen go back when i click that it takes me back to the screen we started from so here's the problem with setting the clock if you don't know this little trick to set the clock you're going to have to push and hold info button for screen selection so i'm going to push this button and hold it in ready push. Okay, now I'm holding the button in, but this screen is not changing. When I let go of the button, it goes to the following screen, just like I had pushed it, like here. Okay, so let me get back down to that change button, or change screen. And by the way, thank you to Henry Polanco for this. Hank, I really appreciate you figuring this out for us the other day. The problem is when this screen here and this screen here are on the push and hold screen, so put this screen on any other screen. We'll use, say, elapsed time, okay? It could be any of these screens, as long as it's not a oh, digital speedometer, as long as it's not the push and hold screen. Then we're gonna push and hold the info button. Ready, set, push. I'm pushing and holding it. And it takes us to this screen where they're now telling us to use the select and the set. So you've got to use this one now to move about. So I'm gonna click down. It took me down to display and beep. I'll click up, it takes me up to time and date. To select time and date, ready? One little click, click. All right, now we're over here to the time and date with birthdays and anniversaries. I'm gonna click that middle button again, and we're in there where we can set the time and date. So in this case, it's correct. Today is January 12th, but guess what? It's not 2046. So I went to the 12th. For the 12th, I'm gonna click down here again. We click down, we're on the year. I now click the middle button, this one here, to say, hey, let's work with the year. So we click it, now we can go up or down. So we're gonna go down, and it is 2018 as we make this video. So I will go to 2018. Now to set that, I'm gonna once again click this middle button right here. So here we are, click. Now it's set, we're gonna go down, 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 and click set. The cursor's on set. Ready, set, click here. Ready, set, click. And we have now set the time, and we could set the date, and we could set the 12 or 24 hour readouts. Click down, click down, click down, select, go back. Click up, select, go back. We're back to that screen and the time and year and date are correct. So remember, you don't want this screen here to be on this one 
the press and hold screen at the same time this one is. And that's the little trick to setting the time on your Subaru Crosstrek, Subaru Impreza, and Outback without navigation. If you do have navigation, they'll set automatically as long as you're on the settings screen here and you choose vehicle settings right here and clock adjustment is set on automatic. Right now it's on manual because what is this whole video about? It was about setting the clock manually. If you choose automatic and you have GPS, it will automatically set the clock for you. So remember, that's another important step. Thanks so much. Appreciate you subscribing to this YouTube channel. Check me out anytime at edscarpage.com.